Hello, I'm Ed Trinity, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus, where our tech priests are about to go and pillage some lovely Necron tombs. We've now got five different people vying for us. So, what do you want? The heavy arc rifle, but it's a hard difficulty. What do you want? Normal difficulty, but we get the Plasma Culverin, which is amazing, by the way. 10 to 12 energy damage, destroy one energy armor and zero physical. We get a machine spirit that destroys three energy and three physical. That's pretty cool. Plasma Culver is an only found on Cataphron Battlestar. It was due to immense size, but the discovery of an STG fragment. STG? I think you mean STC fragment from within the tomb. The temporary is now able to wield the... Yeah, so that would give us the ability to put this amazing gun on someone. Again, we'd have to be able to field that cognition cost, but we've got a person who doesn't pay a cost once. That's great. I'm pretty tempted by that one. What about Kepra? Volkite Blaster. 9 to 11. Costs uh, only 3 cognition. Machine Spirit. No cognition points. Cost to use. Okay. Servitor level 2. And Blackstone. Normal. Both of these are pretty tempting. That's the Objayo sector. That's the Agrilink sector. And Master's Voice. And yeah, you're pretty normal. Oh. Both of these are so tempting. Damage sustained during warp transit forced the Chaos Metallica to vent much of its fuel reserve. Quartermaster Rowe suggests acquiring a supply of isotopic material from the Tomb of Agrilink for use as fuel on the Chaos Metallica. Uh, that's a pretty good reason to go on a mission. Flayed one of the attacks to destroy morale of the Skatari. Stem the influx of flayed ones to the upper levels of the tomb. That's, you know, pretty standard military-ish mission. The thing is, though, that that upgrade for servitors will be great because we're often running servitors because they don't cost anything in terms of blackstone. That seems like a pretty good reason to me to go for that one. Um, sorry, but I like Capra and I want to go to the Objeo sector. We're doing it. Flayed one, Necromoria, Necromortal, Deathmark, Deathmark. Oh god, I don't like Deathmarks. Let's launch the mission. Uh, so it's Doug, it's Ralph, it's Cook Williams. Actually, if I put them in different order, they have a different initiative order. I wonder, because I want Cook Williams going first, because movement. Restores HP, or replace that for the better restore HP. There we go. Max Machine Spirit is just great. Uh, and plus nine physical damage is also really great. I think that's what we'll go with. And we'll probably just go Servitors. Again, they make great distractions. We're barely holding the line in the Tomb of Abajao. Swarms of these damned flay ones are surging from the lower levels. We're seeing our own troops coming back to us as skins draped over those things. We must keep the tomb open. The foulness of this place is not permissible as a factor in preventing us from completing our mission. We want all of our emotions blocked away from our convenience, Magos. My Skitari cannot fight under these conditions. If morale keeps falling, we'll lose the tomb. I'm not ignorant of the morale of less augmented personnel. The situation requires remedying. Then we need to stem the flow of the flayed ones, otherwise the place will end up as our tomb as well. And zoom! Levels are swarm with flayed ones. If we seal a key passageway to those levels, we can hinder their movement at a manageable rate. Mission doctrine suggests a cohort of demolition charges would... Mission Doctrine suggests a cohort with demolition charges would is a viable solution. Is a viable solution or would be a viable solution? Okay. That's a mistake there. My thoughts exactly, Magos. It's not just the danger to my men that worries me. When the enemy wears the skin of your dead comrades, death isn't the worst thing that can happen to you. Right. Go here. But there is a... I want to hit that, so we're going to be doing a backtrack. We could do a get everything, or we could just sprint in and try and... I think we're going to go sprint. We'll go there, we'll backtrack here, and then go there and avoid these two. Glyph. Panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room, which is filled with con cognition. If we can work out the right commands, we can read the rewards. I read that as contagion. I was like, wait, what? Um, we don't know this one, so... Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, cognition points, that's fine. I was hoping for Blackstone, but... Opportunity for study, recovery, exploitation. Goal equals for this section. Recover if possible. 
A lone fled one is trapped in a malfunctioning doorway. Its lower limbs are crushed, but is not being damaged enough to cause it to teleport. Um, destroy with flame. Seize or skin. Wary of a Necron teleporting away, try to retrieve only its gory covering of skin. Why would we want to do that? We're going to try and seize it. I think that's the mission objective, right? The cult attempts to drag the flayed one out from under the door. It reanimates uh, it animates and attacks of its bladed forelimbs before it comes apart at the mid-torso and teleports away. That... Why did you do that? That, that's, that doesn't seem to be the approach I would have taken. Just... Why drag it out from under the doorway before securing it? That seems to be a bad idea. Silly tech priests. Warning, our presence has been detected. If this has been used by the flay ones, it needs to be closed. The cart comes across a side tunnel or vent in the tomb wall. The entrance to the passageway is clotted with blood and scraps of flesh, suggesting you use it as a way for the flayed ones to move around the tomb. Scour it. Search it. I think we just seal it straight away. Damage the surrounding chambers in the court before spend time foraging an alternative path around the tomb. Damn it, we gave them initiative. Okay, fine. This hasn't gone well so far, this little adventure in our tomb. Glyph. Canopic creature. This one is a different one. Is it that one? Plus three HP. Hey! Yeah, we got the right one. Oh, I missed these two. There's more. Uh, okay, we have taken an inefficient path around. We could have gone. Duh, 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 duh. Um, we'll go here, and then here, and then here. Excellent icons in battle. And I thought this was a really quick mission. Flayed ones! Kill enemies. That's a lot of flayed ones. That's a lot of flayed ones. And, ooh! Two sensory thingies. And the flayed ones are acting first. Okay. Do I want to deploy a couple of servitors? No. They'll just get hit. We need to hit these two control panels. Okay, uh... Shoot you. Six health. Shoot you. Five health. Servo skull. And then run in with the power axe. Which we get the cognition from here. We can use the mechadendra on you. And then we'll hit you. Hmm. That was easy enough. Uh, and we could move, but um, I'm probably just going to elect it. Oh, we could, we could straight up move to here. And then just fly across. Be like, bye! Then we'll end our turn to avoid the opportunity attack. And we'll use our pistol because the AOE will kill you. And then cognition point. what? We'll use it on you to just get the kill. I just imagine like the service skull just bumps into it repeatedly until it damages it enough. A 
And there's our plus one cognition point. And I think what we'll do, since we can't get an extra cognition point, is, you know what, we might just pass on the service skull. Might be a good idea, just pass straight on the service skull and be like, you know, whatever. Oh! Oh, that's more played ones. Hi there. I didn't anticipate that. Mistakes were made. We're calling in, um, servitors to be distractions. I really want to run up here and, like, mess with you, but I'm going to have to lay my turn because I want to be on that. Please kill. No, it's not a kill. Ow! Oh, one damage. That's fine. I'm gonna punch you in the face. And I move to here, and I'm gonna punch you in the face. Servitors versus Flayed Ones. Who will win? Basically, I'd line it up so we get opportunity attacks. Uh, right. You are in melee. I'm going to delay your turn. Right. Take that. Please be a kill. Thank you. Phosphor Serpenta can't hit anyone. We'll change that. Still alive. Okay. We rolled one damage. Scan, he scan, he scan, he scan. Can I not get to here? I need to get here because if I don't move to like this position, we're not going to be able to get anyone else on behind us. Why can't I move to there? Screw it, I'm just gonna take the hit. Got two physical armor, yeah, nice. And then, oh, I'm gonna have to spend a cognition point to get far enough on. Yes, yes, come onto this platform. Yes, get on the platform. You know you want to. This is going to be funny. Um, you know what? We'll move to here. Grab that cognition. Then we'll use our power axe to get the kill. And then, hi there. Let's find out your stats. That's the benefit of our pistol here. We get to find out your stats. It's a pretty naff pistol, but the ability to just know their statistics just by shooting them makes it great for just doing a little bit of damage and occasionally clean up work. Um... I'm going to shoot the body. Then spend the cognition to move the extra tile. 
And then, hello, AOE attack. That was a good AOE attack. All right, is anyone here injured? Uh, you are. We'll spend the cognition to heal you. Really, I rolled a one. Fine. I know. Oh, I only needed a one. You can't roll a one. Yeah, I only need one HP. And turn. Done. Hello. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, that's glorious. Right. We're going to quickly grab that cognition. We'll step here to grab that cognition. We'll use our blasters to take pot shots. Very limited pot shots. And then data. Lovely, lovely data. Oh, yeah. And then we'll bring ourselves back. Uh, you can't really do anything, so I'm just going to delay your turn for now. You destroy the corpse. You destroy the corpse. And then, now two damage. Arc weapon. Machine spirit. Boom, one kill. One teleport and you're just injured. And then we can do a damage with our service skull. Which gets the kill as well. Just whack him to death with the service skull. Cognition from you. Textbook. No injuries. I mean, we took one, but we healed it. So, you know, that's fine. What's in here? Glyph. Another one we don't recognize. Uh, all units healed. I didn't need that, but at least we successfully got the glyph. Necron Awakening is now three. Okay. Scan or destroy. At there's no enemies. This is not. I am worried. I do not like the look of this. I'm deploying all the servitors. Oh, I forgot to deploy. Ah, damn it. Okay, fine, fine. It's fine. It's fine. We spent a cognition and we didn't pick up. Ah, damn it. Okay, scan that. Oh, okay. Escape. Oh. I mean, 
Oh, there's a Necron there. Okay. We, we can escape. That's not a problem. We're not acting before everyone, though. So I'm going to go this way because there's no range of Necron, which means we can control the flow of the battle a bit easier. Right. One... Two. Ah, you could get in range. Oh, good opportunity attack. You'd throw max damage to do that. Distraction servitor. Uh, we will use the AoE. Nice. You know what? We're going to take uh, an extra move. We might be escaping. So, and I'm, I'm worried about what they're going to bring... Like, we could encounter, oh, look, more enemies every turn, which I feel is what's going to happen, in which case we want to make as much movement as possible. Uh, and turn. I don't mind Foster Spentering you, because we've got so much cognition right now. Send the server skull to just collect that cognition. Yeah. And then phosphor. And then we'll spend one of those cognition immediately to get an extra move. Yes. Walk towards the distraction servitor. Yeah, just straight to the escape. There we go. Cost one cognition. Out of range. Okay. Uh, we'll grab cognition here. Distraction servitor! Don't, don't go attack the tech priest. Attack the distraction servitor. Run away, run away, run, run, run away, run away, run... Okay, I guess we're moving just to here. Hmm. Nice. You're nearly dead. And... Can we make that nearly dead actually dead? Yes, we can. That was easy enough. A dead Skatari is pinned up against a wall by blade speared through his body. It seems strange that the Flay wants to leave a corpse behind without skinning and dismembering it. Perhaps this discovery would reward examination, or perhaps it is a trap. Shoot down the body from a distance. If it is a trap, it should be deactivated. Caution. Curiosity. I'm going to go Casnus. The cohort riddles the corpse with gunfire. The bot explodes in a burst of radiation as the booby trap is tripped. The cohort exults in the knowledge they have not been outsmarted by the Necrons, though the gunfire and triggering the trap surely have given away their location. Take that. But it is mission complete. 
The archway leading to the lower reaches of the tomb is rigged with demolition charges. When they're detonated, the entire section of the tomb collapses, filling in the flayed one's route with massive amount of debris uh, and rubble. The flow of flayed ones is stemmed, and the Skatari in the tomb win a rare reprieve. This Katari should have pressure taken off by the time being. With the luck of Mars, they should be able to hold the tomb until it's fully explored. Of all the forms of Necrons, the Flayed Ones are the foulest and the gravest moral threat to us, Katari. Emotional returns of disgust, anger, and moral repugnance are filling my neuro vaults to full capacity. I move to pray we shall soon be finished with the tomb of Ubjao. Now I've seen what has happened to our troops in there. I've seen how it changes them. I pray for the same thing, Magos. No injury whatsoever. Oh, yeah. I mean, in theory, we could have just farmed flayed ones just by like, yeah, keep running at me. Bam, bam. But it would have increased the timer. Luckily, we only had a three timer because we were fast. Circle level two, the Volkite Blaster and Blackstone. And more Blackstone. Next six attacks ignore all armor. Okay. Let's look at our cohort. So, until now, you've been running around with a Foster Spenta. Having a quick look at the Foster Spenta, it does 6 to 8, reveal statistics. Cooldown is 1. The Volkite Blaster, cooldown 1. Doesn't reveal statistics, but there's 9 to 11. A lot of the enemies we've been facing so far have mostly been one-shot kills of the Phosphor Spenta, but I think the Volkite Blaster is probably a good idea. And we have found that we're now getting a lot more uh, use. It's only two augment requirement, which is nice as well. The other one we're looking at, the Plasma Cold Virum, was a three augment requirement. I feel we're getting a lot more use out of our cognition points these days. So that's a good call. Um, does, however, raise the question... Doug, we could upgrade you. The Arc Pistol's been doing good work, actually. It's been a great way of just killing off uh, a lot of downed enemies. Especially with the buff to energy damage in the area effect, because everyone takes that. Do we want to upgrade you to having a Fossil Spenta? It does take two augment slots, but we can easily lose, like, one of these limbs. Let's see. Let's get you a Dominus Head. We're so close to being able to get, if no melee weapon equipped, plus one damage, plus armor, plus four range. Energy enhancers, minus one cognition. I don't even have energy enhancers, so not really much of a use. Give the Dominus Head. Ooh, uh, that sounded a bit wrong. Um, question right now is, do we switch out for a Fossil Spender? That damage is really good. And I don't know if we can have an Arc Pistol and a Fossil Spender. Because that's a lot of cognition points. Having the ability to just fire off a gun, which does reveal statistics and does plus one damage machine spirit and plus one damage for energy, is respectable. It's not great, but it's it's great. It's it's good enough, you know, it's respectable. We'd be getting rid of the arc pistol. I feel for now we might keep the arc pistol and upgrade you in a little bit. Not quite yet. I want to be certain we've got enough cognition. All right, we've got blackstone. Who wants some blackstone? Ralph is still rank 6. I think Ralph gets it. Plus 1 energy damage. Armor. HP. Armor and HP is a pretty common one there. Tech Priest units gain plus 1 physical armor. Collect all cognition from one source. Again, that's another way to get a lot more cognition going.
cleansing uh, anointments would get rid of the acid effect. I feel going this way because we get Bless, which is choose between two canticles, plus two damage to all tech priests, or uh, plus two armor. Um, plus two damage to all tech priests is going to be a really good buff. That's effectively saying for one cognition you can get plus six damage a turn, which will allow us to punch through armor with weapons that normally can't defeat that armor or will be severely penalized. And cast a canticle for three is so good. We're going to go this route. And then... We don't have enough black stone. Is there anyone we can get an upgrade on? No, they're all just out of reach in terms of black stone. If we had 14 more black stone. Darn. Okay. Right, Ralph. You've got an extra slot now. What do we want to put in that slot? Uh... Could give you a cognition mechadendra. It's not amazing, but it'll do. Or we could give you a curatio claw. You know, get a bit more healing going. Armor specs. Um, we normally do run into hit people with our sword. Well, I'm not a sword, but our axe. I feel that Creature Claw is probably the right choice, though. Just because we do need the heals, and healing gives us more Blackstone. Because at the end, we lose a lot of Blackstone, depending on how much damage we're taking. Like, a lot of Blackstone. Ten for each health is very high. Because you've got, you know, maybe four Tech Priests in the not-too-distant future. Each Tech Priest takes, you know, say, three damage. That's 12. That's uh, 120 Blackstone gone. Which is the equivalent of, what, like... Uh, three Glyphs? normally. Maybe just a little bit less than three glyphs. That's a lot of blackstone. Yeah, we'll take the creature claw. This is the energy enhancer. All energy attacks deal uh, gain plus two energy damage one round. It costs a cognition to use, which is why I'm not massively a fan of it. Like, for a start, it takes up an augment slot. Could be used for something else. Uh, it costs a cognition to use it. And it gives you plus two damage for energy attacks. At best, you're making two of those. It is good if you're doing something like uh, an area effect attack. Which makes the the Tesla kind of stuff better. We might do that, just because it's on the tech tree. This takes three augment slots, which is why I'm a bit iffy about this one. Um, what about you? The craziness of the heavy arc rifle, but the chain targets is good. In fact, that would be really good on, uh, what's our favorite dude, person, Magob, our shooter person. I can't remember. Is it Ralph? No, it might not be Ralph. It might be Doug. Either way, the, the guy we were talking about earlier with the arc pistol, air effect, air effect buffs, heavy arc rifles with air effect. It does cost three cognition and it is a three augment, which means that that's going to be tough. But troop deployment cost reduced. Oh, we haven't deployed any troops that cost Blackstone. So I have to think about this. This is a hard, so I actually won't be going on this for a while. It's just... The hard mission is going to be... It's going to be a tough sell. Maybe, you know, going a little bit less and being like, you know, we'll go with the Arc Rifle. It's 1 to 10 damage. The Chained is still good. It costs 2 augment slots. Spotlight to become the priority of enemy of the attacks. And gain armor. And Blackstone. This might be the case. Uh, it has a death mark on it, though, so ugh, I really don't like death marks. Either way, for now, I've been Aaron Lissou. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until next time, praise the Omnissiah. Stay shiny.